Cross Psychopath is the most disgusting comic we've read so far. Remember, the cross is an infection that causes the infected to do the most evil thing they possibly can to the uninfected. But can human beings be worse than the cross? Some survivors allow an injured man named Harold to join them, but he is a psychopath. Will this group survive? What will be the group's biggest enemy? The Cross or Harold? If we can get this video to 798 likes in an hour, I'll double upload right on your forehead. Let me know in the comments below what is the most disturbing comic you've ever read. Let's get started. If you want to see what happens, including all the messed up parts, stay tuned for the comic. Cue to Gohan. We got a group of four survivors. Rick, the leader. No, wrong Rick. This Rick, Claire, Darwin, and Amanda. The group hears some random guy awaken from his nightmare. This is Harold Lore. Get ready for him. Well, Amanda, being the angel she is, decides to help him out of his hellhole. Of course, the other members are a little wary, but nonetheless, Harold proves his worth by showing that his senses are daredevil level. He can hear and smell cross better wow. than the average person. But Harold is a weirdo. Crazy. Harold takes a gander at his new partners and and lusts over Claire and her lips. Rick here seems like a good leader. Darwin can go to hell, but Amanda is an angel. Harold tells them that he is headed to the mission, a place where people are working on a cure for the cross. Well, now he's in a group, but do you want someone that imagines this all day to be in your group? Now, fate has sent Amanda and these good people to aid me in my redemption. As a man and human being, I swear I will not fail again. So for all our sakes, the whore will have to be the first to go. Chapter 2 we learned that Harold used to run a party store, but all he did was stare at MILFs and one mom really stirred his mind, Lori. Surprisingly, the group, and ladies in particular, aren't too bothered by his stories. What kind of a guy talks about women he smelled? Now Harold was lying. He said he was looking for a group of survivors, but really, he's looking for a group of cross. Why? Because they killed his Lori. Lori lost her whole family and Harold saved her and then S ate her when she was despaired. Will the group be able to survive the hell that is upon them? The Cross or Harold? In chapter 3, Harold is planning to kill Darwin and Claire, all so he can be with his angel, Amanda. Darwin has to carry him because his leg is broken. He leads Darwin and Claire to a building to hide from Cross that he led to the group. When he gets the chance, when Darwin is alone with him, he whispers to Darwin, You know, right now they could be assaulting Amanda. He cuts Darwin, sending him to heaven. He then essays Claire and tortures her worse than the cross. What will happen to the rest of the group? So in chapter 4, Amanda and Rick see what the cross did to Darwin and Claire, all according to plan. Amanda, Rick, and Harold find a new house to settle in, and Amanda creepily looks back saying, this place has electricity. I don't know why she looked back like that. The group struggle to deal with the death of their friends, and Harold sees Amanda's vulnerability and her words of hope. An angel, he thinks this is. In a moment of closeness and vulnerability, Rick and Amanda make love. Harold sees this and suddenly Amanda is a B word in heat, a filthy word that rhymes with more. He's doing mental gymnastics in his head to think that Rick is forcing this on her. Harold, she isn't your property, but this influences Harold to take out Rick next. In chapter 5, the survivors are watching the group of cross that supposedly killed Darwin and Claire. To do so, they disguise themselves as cross, which works from a distance. Amanda, you look nuts. Y'all are really killing the cross role. Back in town to fight the cross, Amanda sees a survivor and puts her out of her misery. 
before the cross can get her. Anyway, they lead the cross on a chase and take their positions. Amanda goes to Jill Valentine and freaking runs to her new position two clicks away. While Amanda is Jill Valentining, Harold is torturing Rick. That Extreme Scenes video is calling on you to see what he did. With Rick dead, Harold finds the cross who took his Lori, and he finds the package they took from him. Lori's severed titty. What is gonna happen to Amanda? In chapter 6, Harold is really missing Lori, the woman he saved, and the woman who despaired as soon as she saw that she would never be safe, even away from the cross. Finally, Harold meets back up with Lori, but things don't go how he was hoping. Now, it's time for his last victim, Amanda, to meet her gory end. Will Amanda escape from this cross, psychopath? Harold heats up Lori's titty to feed Amanda, and she vomits as soon as she sees this. She's now realizing this guy is nuts. He ties her up and says, you see, it's her, Lori. That's my Lori's left titty, and now you're gonna eat it. Eat it all up and become my Lori. Amanda sees this insanity, his delusion, and as soon as he takes off the gag, Amanda hits him where it hurts, calling his Lori a big fat word that rhymes with more, saying that Lori enjoyed what was done to her with that garden tool. Okay, Amanda, she was cross when all that happened, but yeah, that'll hurt him. When he tries to kiss her, she bites his lips and spits them out across the room. She has to cut her hand to get out of the binds and punches the loser right in the face. Finally, Amanda escapes to an unknown future, all alone. Harold takes this hand with him, crudely stitches his lips back on, and exits the diner, ready to find another woman who can be his new Lori. Didn't end how I wanted it to. Cross Psychopath was written by David Latham and illustrated by Rallo Caceres, the most shock value comic ever. Get this video to 798 likes in an hour and I'll double upload. Also, check out the video in the description to see all the uncensored stuff I couldn't show. And that's why you should click on this video, The Sadness, a Taiwanese film inspired by the Cross comic and one of my favorite movies to watch. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Spooky out.